So, yesterday was my nephew's third birthday, and uh, we did get to go to the aquarium, and I got some stuff, and I will show you guys the stuff that I got. Um, but I wanted to tell you guys a little quick story about it. It was awesome going through there and everything. I do have pictures. Obviously, a fair amount of them do have my nephew in them or other family members, and I want to respect their privacy, privacy so I will not be show sharing those. Uh, I do have some small pictures I can show you of animals and whatnot. If you guys are curious, if you guys are interested, I will put those animals uh, at the end, the good ones, because I took pictures on my phone when we were in a group of people and I hated it. I am vaccinated. I did have a mask on though. Uh, my sister-in-law uh, also had a, a, one of her masks masks on. My brother did not and my nephew did not. Um, but still, <laughs> we did have fun. Uh, it was really crowded for whatever reason, but it's a two hour long car ride and my nephew gets really bad motion sickness. So anybody who suffers with it or anybody who knows of young children or has suffered when they were young children, please, 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 please comment below any sort of tips, tricks, whatever it was that you guys had growing up or you have personally that help you uh, for longer car rides. Because he, like I said, he is three years old. He gets it from his mom. He does get really bad motion sickness. He wasn't really able to eat a lot before uh we left. He did have breakfast though, but they waited several hours before they came and got me because they woke up really early that morning. Um, and then they came and got me, I think around nine and then we left and then we got there by like 1130, 12 o'clock, which wasn't bad. Um, but he could not have any of our lunch when we got in the car, uh, to leave cause we were, um, well, let me think. He got sick once on the way there. Then he got sick again on our way leaving. Uh, then he got sick again after just a little bit of uh, driving, and then he got sick two more times before we got to uh, his grandparents, my parents' house. And then my sister-in-law threw him in the shower <laughs> and hosed him down. We had to change of clothes here. She went through all of her changes of clothes. She did have the calm snacks, so he had crackers came back up. He had water that he sipped on. It came back up. He had mild juice, came back up. Uh, he, like I said, was not able to eat lunch. Uh, and then the last few times he got sick, it was just stomach bile. So anybody who has any sort of tips or tricks or anything like that, please comment below. Um, <laughs> I am also going to be asking this on my TikTok. She did have, she had several trash bags and a, and a box. Um, Obviously, I don't have the box, but I have a little box for reference. Uh, it was a little bit bigger than my little Walmart box here. Um, came about right here and about this size and had a trash bag in it with some uh, tissue paper in it, uh, uh, toilet tissue, uh, and paper towels and everything so he could hold on to it while he was getting sick. And the last couple times he told us before he got sick, and he did not have a good he he didn't have a good car ride. He loved the aquarium. He did get a little upset from where it was so crowded. So many parents decided to bring their kids before school started back up. So uh, there were a lot of really young kids running around screaming. And he's like, I want to too. And you know, obviously my sister-in-law was like, no, you're not doing that. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. <laughs> but mm, like I said, he... He, he had fun. He had fun at the aquarium. He just got sick. Uh, but while we were down here at Nan and Pap, who are my grand, her, are my parents, his grandparents, uh, he's allowed to have little Hot Wheels now. And my, uh, my brother and I, my brother and I growing up, I keep wanting to call him my brother-in-law. Maybe it's because I like his wife better than I do him, but that's beside the point. <laughs> we had this big shoe box full of matchbox cars. So we decided, I told him whenever we got to Nan and Pap's, because he was not feeling good. I was trying to make him laugh. It was not helping. My brother has, my brother has a lead foot when he drives. So it, hmm. slamming on the gas, slamming on the brake, slamming on the gas, slamming on the brake. Thankfully, he was able to nap a little bit, but still, I, I was joking with him. I'm like, when in doubt, blame your father's driving. It's perfectly fine. <laughs> And even my sister-in-law started giggling, but he was not having it. He just did not feel good. So whenever we came down here, I got that big box, box of Matchbox cars. I told him whenever we get to Nan and Pap's, we'll go through it and he can have them. Because they it, it goes from, uh, they were my mom's, they were my brother's, they were mine, and now they're my nephew's. So 
got the big box, opened it, dumped it out, took all the broken car parts and uh, car pieces that he would like hurt himself on or anything like that, put them in the box and um, made sure that he was able to have a, a better a better birthday. He has a birthday party coming up. It's this weekend, so hopefully that was just. Uh, a bug, he not a bug, but just motion sickness. He didn't have a fever uh, or anything like that. But for his third birthday, he's getting sick like crazy. And my sister in law is like, I'm so sorry for this because, oh, uh, I felt so bad. There was really like I, my duty was to hold the puke bucket. That was it. A box. That was it. <laughs> and I was just trying to get him to like go in the box and he's just crying. I'm like, I'm sorry, I don't know what to do. My sister-in-law's getting frustrated. My brother's having a having a fit because he doesn't know how to he doesn't know how to do things calmly. So he's just like, I will give you something to cry about. I'm like, I'm gonna beat your fucking ass. He was getting frustrated. My sister-in-law was getting frustrated. Poor my poor nephew was getting sick like crazy and I'm just sitting there like I don't know what to do. <laughs> so whenever we got to the house Whenever we got home, they went back and visited his great-grandparents, my grandparents, and I grabbed a backup change of clothes uh, that we had down here, his little play clothes, made sure he had his toothbrush and his toothpaste down here, uh, fresh towel, his soap and everything, and I just told him, like, everything is in there, hose him down. And the first thing he did when he came back out, uh, back out of that shower, he's like, Aunt Sarah, can I have a popsicle? Because he always has one when he's down here. So, for, it was his birthday. They weren't leaving for a few more minutes. So, I'm like, okay, your mom said you're allowed to. Got him a popsicle and we played on the floor. He had a blast. And walking around the aquarium, looking at all the fish, going through the tunnel, seeing the sharks, seeing the stingrays. He got to touch a couple of the... Because uh, where we went, they have uh, touch pools where you can interact with those creatures you have to be extremely careful obviously uh you have to go and make sure that you wash your hands afterwards sanitize your hands he was very good about that um but got to pet a couple of sharks got to tickle and not tickle but touch a starfish got to uh, uh touch a couple of rays he had a good time i wish it was better <laughs> i wish it was better he did we got some, we did go through uh, the gift shop. He did get some gifts, which was a good thing. Uh, he didn't get anything big. We did get a picture, like I said, for their privacy and their respect. Obviously, I'm not going to sh uh, show that because I'm not comfortable doing that. I wouldn't do that with my own kids. Um, but I did get, I was going to get him something. My grandmother gave me money to go with them and I was going to get him a little stuffed animal or something that you could cuddle on the way home and then he kept getting more and more sick so it's just like I'm kind of glad that I didn't but my brother did buy him his little ba bag of rocks so at the aquarium they have uh these little leather pouches um and they have an assortment of different colored rocks so he got some I got some I could fit a couple more in there I'm just realizing that but for $5.99 and you can get all the rocks you want he he loves pretty little little rocks and my brother travels for uh travels for work so he will pick him up really pretty rocks on his on his little travels I got mainly greens and blues which is fine green and blue are my favorite colors and I just realized I'm holding them up here so I'll show you, I'll re-show you the ones that I just is that the one? there's this little pink one he had one about this shade and he had it in his little cup holder in his car seat uh, and from where he just kept getting sick on the way home he kept sitting it there and losing it and then he would cry because he didn't have his rock I'm like Bubba we're almost Nana Paps you're okay oh he felt awful and then his mom was just like we're not doing this again until you get bigger <laughs> or we'll go instead of the aquarium that's two hours away we'll go to the zoo that's an hour and a half a, a little bit less time but still about an hour away like, or we can just postpone all those trips until he's bigger, where he remembers it. I felt so bad. And then she felt bad, because it was... My my nephew's birthday is yet, was yesterday. His party's this weekend. My birthday is next... Friday? 
yeah, my birthday's next Friday. And then my brother, his dad's birthday is uh, next Tuesday. So he's getting sick on his birthday. It was supposed to be a big birthday present for all three of us. My poor sister-in-law is just like, this was supposed to be a good day and you're getting sick and I don't know how to help you. And she almost got into a fight with my brother. Oh my God. Just because he's never been around kids that long and he's not biologically his. He's a stepson. He's my stepnephew, but we don't, we don't use those step titles. He's my nephew. Just like he's my brother's son. I think I have a couple of duplicates. Yeah, because I think these three all look the same. <laughs> I'm fine with that. I love blue rocks. I love rocks. Anything pretty and shiny. But for $5.99 and I got all those little rocks. And then for $9.99 uh, I got a little rose quartz necklace. I'll show you here in just a second. Uh, the ticket pricing to get in for two for three adults and a child. There's my little rose quartz. It looks very pale on camera. I don't know if it's supposed to. It says made in China, so I don't really expect it to be a real one. But just these two things, it was $16.94 uh, after tax, which the sales tax was uh, 96 cents. It wasn't that bad. I had $30 on me, uh, and then when I got home, my dad needed something from the store, so I gave him the 10 But other than him getting sick, I think my nephew had a pretty good time. Like I said, I will add pictures at the end. Um, we got to see uh, albino crocs, or albino gators, uh, and baby alligators, <laughs> baby poisonous dark frog, dart frogs, penguins. There was one that just kept jumping in the water, shooting up real quick off to the other side. He was a show off. It was so cute. And he's, my nephew sitting in the front row because they had like this little uh, theater seating that you could sit on. Like I said, it was a packed house. My brother and I were sitting back or standing back and then they went down there and then he kept looking for me and he's like, Aunt Sarah, come sit with me. I'm like, you sit down there. There's not enough room. You should sit down there. <laughs> He had a good day, other than getting sick. But if anybody, any of you suffer from motion sickness, know someone who does and knows how to help, uh, or if, you, um, if you're a mother, a parent, an aunt, an uncle, whoever, and you know really small children and how to help them, I would really appreciate some tips and tricks uh, so I can pass that along to my mother-in-law, or mother-in-law, brother-in-law, sister-in-law. It was a long day, and I slept very late tonight. Uh, yeah, yeah, today. But other than that, I think he had a really, a really good day. We asked him, "Did you have fun?" Yeah. Would you want to go back? Yeah. <laughs> so maybe when he's a little bit older, maybe when he's about like seven or eight, we'll be able to take him again to either that aquarium or go to the zoo, because uh, there's a zoo down there too. Or no. It's in the city before, but still. <laughs> Technically speaking, it's in another state. Uh, our state, I, I, we're able to travel in and out of it. Um, so we went down there. <laughs> it was fun. But he slept. There was this huge bridge that we got to go over uh, into the other state. And he was asleep. On the way home, on the way home he was asleep. Uh... And on the way, too, he was asleep. <laughs> and that's my sister-in-law kept saying. She's like, you slept o over one of the biggest bridges you've ever seen in your three years. <sighs> oh, God. It was fun. Hopefully, he doesn't have to worry about some anything like that this weekend. Uh, getting sick or anything like that. Because he's, he's flying on decent car rides that's just like from home to down here. Or from uh, home to a uh, neighboring town for groceries or something like that. But for an hour long, he was not having it. And my poor sister-in-law is just like, this is supposed to be a good birthday for all three of you and it's not. I'm like, well, it, it, could, it could be one. Things could always be worse. At least it's just, at least it's just this. At least he's 
uh, we're figuring out how to help him. You uh, you prepped everything. We just gotta remember to bring more clothes. <laughs> oh god. And then I have a really sensitive gag reflex, so I'm sitting in the back with the box, and I'm looking over here, and my sister-in-law's like, are you okay? I'm like, yep, I'm good. She's like, you need the puke box? I'm like, no, I don't. Oh. He felt better today, so I know it wasn't a bug. Thankfully. But still, it was enough to be like, you poor thing. <laughs> he felt so bad. He got really excited. I thought he was going to be scared because he's he's afraid of the dark. So I didn't know if it was because it was he was with mom and dad or if it's you know not anything like that, um, or if it was just because he he could tell that it was something like fish because he likes fish. Uh, he thinks they're he thinks they're cool. He thinks they're pretty. Um, so I don't know if he was like. We get to see fish, and then we got to see a giant sea turtles. Uh, we got to see uh, uh, ray sharks and everything like that. It was really fucking cool. However, at the same time, I'm also sitting, walking around there going like, I feel really bad for these creatures because they're in here. But at the same time, a lot of them are like, oh, these creatures are extinct. So these are like the rare few that's left that we can actually study and see if we can help. I'm like, oh. And I had some extra change in my wallet. There was a big, um, a big thing that you could give to like conservation and everything like that. Uh, so I made sure to do that. Um, I don't really want to say exactly what aquarium we were going to. Maybe if I'm comfortable in the future, I'll do a, another video talking about it. Maybe I'll do, uh, I was going to make a vlog, but then, like I said, my nephew kept getting sick. So I'm like, I'm not going to do that to him. <laughs> not on his birthday. But maybe if I go there, like with, um, with my friends or with my boyfriend or something like that, uh, we will definitely, definitely make uh, content while we're there. Um, like I said, uh, next weekend my best friend is coming to get me for a surprise birthday, a uh, birthday present with her sister and brother-in-law and her nephew. So I'm kind of hoping that um, I'll be able to take pictures, but I'm not going to film a video. But I will tell you guys about it. Uh, I do have gifts from my boyfriend coming. <laughs> And I will tell you guys about those whenever I get them. But, uh, yeah, he celebrated his third birthday getting sick in the back of my my mom's old car. Because they purchased the car from my parents. But he's home. He had a good birthday, aside from getting sick. Um, and I'm pretty sure the, whenever they, everything finally calmed down and he got home, he got to, he got to have birthday cupcakes. <laughs> so... He had a good, he had a good day. I am working on making him a little gift. I don't know if I'll get it done in time. I'm kind of hoping I will, but on the off chances that I don't, I'm trying to make him oven mitts because he got a little kitchen set for his birthday. He hasn't gotten it yet because his party's this weekend, but still. But, uh, trying my best to get this done, and that is all I have for you guys in this video. Uh, like I said, I do know that this is not real. <laughs> Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. I don't know. I need to go on to uh, TikTok and talk about it on uh, Aim It Towards Witches. But uh, it was... The tickets were a little... Like I said, they were a little pricey. Um, I think the tickets for three adults and a child was $122 after tax. Which wasn't, it wasn't that bad, I don't think. I'm going to find the ticket prices, and I will tell you guys about those here in just a second before I sign off, so. Okay, so it looks like their prices vary. I don't know if I can go back. Yeah, I can't go back and see what it was yesterday. Um, but it's, uh... Hmm, 22 to 30-some dollars for... Adult tickets? Prices listed on the calendar view uh, are for adults. Okay, so I guess it var varies by day. Well, I guess that, that makes a little bit of sense. Because if you get more traction on one day than you do the other, you would probably be more or less uh, inclined to go like... If you uh, get more people 
one day than you do the other. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't work there. I don't know. Tickets and passes. Uh, let me double check. So it is like adults 13 and up is 22, uh, 22.99 to 34.99, and then for kids. 2 to 12, uh, it's $14.99 to $26.99, so it can be a little pricey, um, I think especially with COVID and everything hitting, and like I said, I had my mask on, and it was packed. Their senior, pat, well, they don't have, I, I don't think they have, like, an actual senior discount, I think they just have a senior, senior annual pass, which kind of sucks, but... I, I kind of understand. <laughs> I kind of understand. But, like I said, he had a good day. He's feeling better today. That's a plus. Uh, thankfully, he doesn't have to go on an hour-long ride for his birthday party this weekend, so he should be perfectly fine. But, still, I wore my mask. I'm vaccinated. Wear your mask. Get vaccinated. I know mask mandates are coming back into effect. Uh, Wear a mask at school, even if you think you're going to get made fun of, even if your fucking teachers throw an absolute hissy fit. If they threaten to expel you over a damn mask, it's not worth it to begin with. They're going to regulate our bodies to where we don't wear tank tops or leggings or ripped jeans or shorts over a certain length or skirts over a certain length. If they want to throw an absolute temper tantrum over a piece of cloth that's making sure that your fellow students do not get COVID, the flu, strep, any viral bacterial infection or anything like that, even if it has a high percentage uh, survival, survival rate, there are still people who have issues with their immune system to wear it their immune system is not equipped to fight this off and it still has the capability of making you very very sick the long-term effects of COVID-19 alone are extremely dangerous for the love of God take it seriously do not be like my brother wear a mask get vaccinated if you can I do understand that there are a lot of uh, people who cannot get fully vaccinated some of them are only half some of them are full some of them are capable of getting it if you are able to get it, if you uh, if you are able to talk to your doctor about it, get the vaccine. The reason we have these variants is because we lack herd immunity. Get the vaccine, wear a mask, social distance, remember your hand sanitizer. I'm going to, it's only a little bit full, but I am going to fill this up before I leave with my best friend. I'm going to make sure my mask is all washed. I have backups. I Especially the fact that we are also going to be spending the car ride, however long it is, with an infant. I know I, I especially want to be courteous of other people and their children, but I also want to make sure that he isn't able to give anything to me because I know there's a lot of my immune... My, I'm behind on my vaccines to a certain extent. Certain ones I know I'm due for a second booster, which is perfectly fine. I have a bad habit of doing that because I just forget about it. But check your shot record. I have mine. It's in my wallet at all times. Always, it's in my wallet. And then I've got my one for COVID. So, like I said, go get your vaccine. If you can, wear a mask, social distance. If you are able to, limit as much time around people as possible. And for the love of God, if you're going to a public place like an aquarium or a zoo or a fair or anything like that, keep a hand on your child. I don't know how many really little kids younger than my nephew. My nephew just turned three yesterday. We're running around far away from their parents and their parents were hollering at them to get them back. Please keep a close hand on your child, especially in a big public area. That is all I have for you guys today. Leave a like, leave a comment. Uh, like I said, if you guys have any tips for motion sickness, please, please, please tell me so I can pass the information on to my sister-in-law so this doesn't happen again. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next videos. Bye!